What's up guys, Fitty Rap here. Today we're back with another YouTube video. And one thing I want to talk to you all about, I had someone ask me this. I don't think they're subscribed to my YouTube channel, but they asked me, why does the PE21 Peshka Russian Interceptor, or as people call it, it's really a bomber, but I mean, people call it the Interceptor. Because it's only a little bomber. So people call it Interceptor, Heavy Fighter, whatever you want to call it. Um... Why does it have rabbit ears? Now this particular version, or prototype as you may say, on War Thunder does not come equipped with rabbit ears, but I thought I would show you the plane anyways. So there's a game simil similar to this that might actually be a little more realistic. It's called um, IL-2 Battle of Moscow, and there's IL-2 Battle of Stalingrad. So what he's talking about, look at my mouse right here there are two rabbit ears on top of the um p21 peshka so you may be wondering fitty wrap what are those for is it supposed to make it look like easter is it supposed to make it look like a bunny maybe it's supposed to bring joy to the troops down below who see it well not exactly so the russians did some crazy experiments but as you all see here this is the gunner who mans a 7.7 millimeter, um, 7.62 millimeter, I'm sorry, SH Kaz machine gun with 1500 ammo. So, or ammunition. So, this guy right here, when you're flying, I don't know, so say 150, 200 kilometers per hour, maybe, maybe about 200. You're going, this gun, imagine how hard it is to push against the wind. And that's not even like, that's not even like, um, actual, like, speed when you're in the air. That's like, maybe, takeoff speed, that's a little fast. You'd probably go about 140, 130 kilometers per hour for landing. But, um, normally you're going to be going about 400 kilometers per hour, which is, in translation, I would say about 200 miles per hour. So, can, can you imagine trying to push this gun right here against the wind? It's gonna be hard. And especially to hold it there. Like once you see an enemy in your sights, you're gonna have to hold the gun there. So yeah, it's gonna take a really strong man. I know the military, the men in the military are strong. I don't know if they're that strong to be doing that all day and all night while they're over there raiding and bombing bases. So, the Russian conducted some experiments to fix this. Basically, these rabbit ears on top, I can't explain it well, I don't know too much about them, but I will say what I do know. Basically, the rabbit ears um, changed the circulation of the wind flow that came around the gun by, instead of like putting it down here, up against the gun while it was turned out to the sides here, as you can see with my mouse, um, it could turn out and, and the flow circulation would go and be caught by the rabbit ears and it would throw it around kind of make the U shape. Same, the same thing vice versa, so it did it on both sides. So basically, they tested this a lot of times on different models, and even on the same type of prototype, and say, even down to the same plane. And the, um, when the Russians were testing this, they were constantly adjusting the rabbit ears, who you may say, I don't know the official name for them, to um, perfectly fit what they need to do. That way, the um, gunner could shoot, the pilot could fly, and the enemy could die, basically. <laughs> so, um, there was something else I wanted to talk about about these rabbit ears. Huh. What do I want to say? Well, I guess that was it. Well, thank you all. If you all like this um, informational video, drop a like on it tell me if you learned anything new down in the comment section or if you already knew this and um subscribe if you're brand new remember tell your friends to subscribe and i will see you all in the next one but one thing i want to point out look at this fuel tank who puts a fuel tank right here see if some if a plane comes up on this and starts shooting they're gonna hit like in this area like maybe on the wings and stuff so this fuel tank right here this plane's getting caught on fire very fast so that's why I probably wouldn't fly the Peshka myself, but go check out Bismarck's channel. He is a uh, German IL-2 YouTuber, B-I-S-M-A-R-C-K. 
great YouTuber. Um, very fluent in German and can speak a lot of German. And he does IL2 Battle of Stalingrad or maybe IL2 Battle of Moscow videos. And also go check out his friends, um, Dare Sheriff and um, Bowtime Gaming and the TBLF crew. They all helped me prepare for this video with informational videos of their own. But just in case you don't know those YouTubers and you are subscribed to me, I thought I'd go ahead and put an informational video out. I'm going to start a new informational series soon. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching and peace out, raps.